Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how you can add Discord overlay to your stream or recording in OBS. I want you guys to drop a like and subscribe to this channel if you want more content like this. Without further ado, let's go right into it. So as you can see I have opened OBS and I've started recording already. So if I'm I have only one scene open, so if I make any changes to it, you're gonna see it in my video. So I'm gonna use this to show you guys how I add the Discord over there. So you need to click on the first link in the description and this will take you to this server. There will be three tabs over here. You need to click on the voice widget if you wanna show which people are talking right now in the voice channel you're connected to. So first there's a option called server. Here you have to choose the voice channel you're connected to right now so it's gonna be degenerates for me i'm connected to the degenerates server right now here as you can see i'm with a bot right now to show you guys how i do it and next you have to click on voice channel and choose the voice channel you're connected to i'm currently connected to the live voice channel so i'm going to choose that here as you can see here's live and there I am uh, th that that's my name and that's the pod that's connected to so if you choose show speaking users only then it will only show people who are speaking right now so if I unmute right now okay I have unmuted and as you can see when I talk this goes on uh, this shows me only when I'm talking and you can turn on small avatars this will make your avatar a bit small but I don't see the advantage but I don't see why people would use that so I'm just gonna turn it off you can also hide your names this this you can customize your discord overlay in many ways here uh, as you can see you can add text color like change your text um, as you can see it went red and you can change the text size so that your name gets a little bigger and your audience can see your name properly I highly recommend this do I, do I don't want red color okay, I'm gonna change that back you can do many changes here now the main thing is how you can add this to your stream overlay so if you are on a small monitor like me like I have a 19 inch monitor with a 1366 x 768 resolution and it says once you've finished config uh, configuring your widget enter the following URL with and hide into a browser source it means that you have to enter the following link in the browser source in OBS as you can see that it isn't the bra the link isn't showing for me uh, this is because the resolution is small and this uh, website is probably meant for 1920 and x1080 monitor users so all you have to do is just zoom out a bit to do that go to the toolbar here and just click on this minus button as you can see this link is now visible now click on the link and press ctrl c or just copy it like that now what we have to do is open OBS I'm gonna maximize this and click on this plus in our sources and click on browser this is gonna add a browser source I'll press OK now we have to pick the width and height the overlay has given us it says I have to enter 312 pixel and 600 pixel as height so I'm gonna do that on OBS 312 and 600 at, as height press ok okay don't press ok uh, you need to paste the link that you just copied here press ok then now when I speak when I'll speak my name will be visible in the recording that right now uh, I guess you guys can see it if I um, if I cut OBS you can you, you, you guys can still see it and you can also add chat widget status widget and many others like this the same way possible uh, so yeah this is how you can add stream overlay and edit it as you wish like if you open OBS and you can just drag it out to make your avatar look bigger you can reposition it like this yeah you can reposition it uh, I like it in the left side corner top left corner yeah so yeah that's basically it so thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how you can add a Discord overlay to your recording or stream 
in OBS, you can also use this method in XSplit. It's the same way because XSplit and OBS are almost identical to each other. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please drop a like and comment if you have any questions. Subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you. I'm out.